I finally got around to putting a couple of chroma poles together that I bought at Expo. But I was thinking, what can I call these if someone asks? I mean, chroma pole is fine, but I wanted something with a little punch to it. Something memorable. So, ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes upon... The Staff of Zartok. Hi, welcome to Canna Spader Christmas. If you've been watching the channel, then I hope you've enjoyed the Falcon Player series that uh, just finished up. If you're not running Falcon Player, then don't worry about it. If you are and you missed it, I'll link the playlist up here. Uh, it goes through the installation, the, uh, the setup and configure of everything, walks through a demo of from starting from X lights to Falcon player to the controller and also did a little of the master remote functionality. They recently came out with version 2.3. Just go out to the GitHub page and check the uh, the it'll have a full write up of all the things that were fixed or added or all that kind of stuff to see if you you want to upgrade. Uh, I do plan on in fact I pulled the images down but I just haven't had time to load them yet. I'll do that very shortly. Uh, probably won't make a video on it though because it's really more of the same. Just has the latest bits. I do have a couple of build projects, and so the first one will be today um, working on a chroma pole, or as I like to call it, the, the Staff of Zartok. The name actually, I like to have a little fun with this stuff, and so those are not common items. So if you have a tree, it's pretty obvious it's a tree. If you have a wreath, it's a wreath. Uh, a star, it's a star, you know, that kind of stuff. But if somebody asks me, well, what are those things? And uh, chroma pole is fine, but really the chroma pole is the attachment, not really the pole part. So I'm calling it something different, especially if it's a news crew and... I <laughs> The first name I came up with Zartan, but apparently that is already a Marvel character and I didn't want to get in trouble with them. And plus Zartan, I believe, has a bow and arrow, so that wouldn't have worked. So I, I came up with Zartan and uh, yeah, how creative I am. Now I would imagine this comic book character to be a big, you know, muscly person with this huge staff and lightning bolts coming off of it and everything. So the, you know, the, I think it fits. At Christmas Expo, I picked up some of uh, four of these. So I'm gonna make two pixel poles. You basically stick three quarter inch EMT through the center of these some distance away and then you put pixels in between them. Uh, you can put up to six strands and I finally just got around to putting them together. EMT comes in 10 foot sections, so I bought three poles. I cut one of them in half, so I have a 10 foot section and a five foot section for each pole. And I just put them together with a coupler. These a whole lot, They're, there's not a lot of strength in them. For those of you that work with EMT more, is a compression coupler better or do you have to thread it? Or is there something you put on the outside to make this connection a little bit stronger? I'm not real worried about it. I, I think this will be just fine. I just was looking to see if there's something a little bit stronger than this connection here. So again, the whole pole is about 15 feet uh, long or four and a half meters. And then I have strings of 50 going up and down. So I've got each pole has 300 pixels. So in X lights, I modeled it as a single string of 300 pixels with six strands, meaning that it goes from bottom to top, 50 pixels, 50 pixels down, up, down, up, down. So in X lights, I modeled this as a mega tree. Uh, I just standard round, uh, 180 degree. Um, I chose the bottom to top ratio as one so that it would be kind of like a cylinder. 
and then I chose one string of 300, six strands per string. Now I did have a little trouble with the the actual ends hanging on to the EMT once I got all the pixels on them and it you know started putting a little tension on it. Um, I did try jamming a screw through it but I think going forward I'm going to try just using a hose clamp. Uh, that should be a little less sharp and it will be adjustable. So the, I've got to go find those and, and put those on there. On the top, I'm just going to wire tie them uh, pretty close to the top. And then on the bottom, I'm going to use these. These are little bungee cords with a ball on the end. And normally how you use these is you have like the bottom of your string there. You just stick this through, wrap it around, whatever you're going to wrap it around and it, it holds onto it. So it provides a little springiness on the bottom there. Now this this won't fit through the holes in the chroma pole piece so I may have to put a wire tie or something on the bottom to to hold it here but the rest of it should work just fine. I think that'll work a lot better and then using a hose clamp to actually hold the thing down will probably work just fine. And for those of you used to hurting your hands on punching pixels in this, I use the I used the square pixels and I, all I had to do was put them on the bench and then push this down on it. Now sometimes I needed to give it a little bit of flex to, to get it in there, but these went on much easier than last time and they seemed to, to stick pretty well. It did seem that these were uh, these went in a lot easier than, than the old ones and they don't come out real easy either. So um, very happy with the new strip and it comes in a roll so you just use however much you need and then cut it so there's your string a couple of things that i wanted to talk about in the build so i did a couple of things wrong first off i started putting pixels uh just one away from the end i probably should have gone two and the reason being is because i wanted to add these little strain reliefs to the strip and the pixel is sitting right there and it's one of the square pixels so it's this is right up against it so it's not the greatest solution but it it did work uh, i did want to talk a little bit about the strip so this is the this is the new strip it comes in a roll and it is slightly thicker than the old strip i don't know if you're going to be able to see this but i'm going to try it anyway it's just slightly thicker than the old stuff is that going to focus um the other thing is that it doesn't have all these holes drilled in it like uh, this, so this is all there so to me it seems like it would be a little bit stronger with not having the holes there so all you have to do is put this on it and then punch a couple of holes through there you can put a wire tie on it to hold it there and then that'll give you a little added strength for the strain lead. these are actually pretty strong so i'm really not even worried that much about uh, the you know having to even use a strain relief for these in the first place but I did add it All right, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed my build of the, the Staff of Zartok. As always, if you have any questions, leave them below. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.
game.